Now this is the luxury, we are heading up to one of the biggest penthouses that you can find right here. My goodness, what is this? Just to relieve a little bit of stress, practice a little bit of Muay Thai. Duplex loft with four huge bedrooms just right across to Sengkang Central. Of course, a little bit of speed boxing. Is this speed boxing? Or Muay Thai? I I'm not sure. <laughs> Pull up property brands on our penthouse tour and let's go. Alright, so we're here at the unit and uh, why don't we hit it for a sneak peek first? Come on in. Alright, so this is the largest penthouse as mentioned. There are only three of them right here within the luxury. The one and only one that is 2,745 square feet. And what's surprising is that we seldom see this level of ceiling height at the loft space and this is like 7.84 meters. Can you imagine? I mean, most of the loft ceiling space at penthouses, they are only at about 6.3 meters. But first up, let's head out. Show you a little bit about the orientation right here. Now, so luxury has a lot of different stacks, but the three penthouses, they are all situated at either stack 17, stack 37 or stack 39. We are right here at stack 39 and this is an inward facing stack and that means you're going to get a lot of privacy and at the same time, you do not have any road noise. You are facing internally towards the clubhouse and the pool zoning, northeast orientation. Totally no afternoon sun right here and later I'm going to show you why is this one of the best stacks that you can get. Now in the first place, there are five different types of penthouse. Now the very first type of penthouse are penthouses that are of a duplex nature. You have living, dining and all the bedrooms right on the level 1 floor plate. Level 2 will be purely the roof terrace zoning. Now the second type of penthouse will be the single floor plate type of penthouse. And most of the time, there are roof terraces that are built into the entire floor plate together with bedrooms. Third type of penthouses, this third type of penthouse will have typically about three bedrooms on level one, master room on level two, and then the roof terrace is also on level two. Now the fourth version will be the triplex. You have living, dining, and some of the bedrooms on level one, bedrooms on level two, and then level three will be the roof terrace. Now, this will fall into the fifth version because it's so difficult to find a penthouse that's duplex having a 7.84 meters loft space, very good sized roof terrace together with a built-in jacuzzi, two living rooms, dry wet kitchen, two bedrooms on each level, junior ensuite on level one, master ensuite on level two, and what I'm going to show you is that if you don't want to climb the staircase for whatever reason, you can just come into the common lift, use your access card, head up to level 15. And let me show you, it is extremely rare to get a penthouse with a lift lobby towards your level 2 entrance. And there you go. This is your secondary entrance. <laughs> Most of the time, penthouses only have one main door. This is your second main door that comes straight into level 2 of your roof terrace deck. And there are so many flexibility because of this entrance, because of the additional lift lobby that comes right to level 2. Later, I'm going to share with you what you can do in your retirement years. This can be an additional rental income. Let me just share with you later how we can configure that. Now, we are not done with level 1 yet, so let's go. So the luxury is approximately about 200 meters walk to the Sengkang MRT station. That's about two minutes for you to just stroll right there. Now this project is beautifully developed by Capel, completed in the year 2015. Land tunnel, 99 years, and the lease starts from the year 2011. One of the youngest projects right here in the D19 belt, if you are looking at projects that are within the real walking distance towards the MRT station. If you want to live just next to a mega mall, definitely Sengkang is one of the prime zones that a lot of people are looking at. Because right now, Sengkang has 
has almost reached a new town in terms of mature status, especially after the Sengkang Hospital has been completed. There is a rationale why our government is planting hospitals in some of the key areas that they want to strongly develop, so like Sengkang, Yishun, you get Jurong. These are all places where the government has already built hospitals around the town central region. If we were to take out the URA master plan of the entire Sengkang, there are a shortage of residential land right here already. Within the 300 meters radius from Sengkang MRT station, there are only technically three private projects and one of them is the integrated project at Compass Hike. The other one is La Fiesta which has no huge units. The last two plots that we think are going to be developed, these are all pure dark blue color commercial land plots. So in terms of residential plots that can allow you to walk to the MRT stations, it is definitely a rarity right now. Right here in the luxury, there are only 8 penthouses, 622 units, parking lots, 627 of them, 2 basement parking levels. And the moment you drive in, that reminds you a little bit about driving into a lush garden, green walls, right on your left and right side, and that brings you into the entire project with two very good sized pool. In fact, one of the pools is Olympic size. You get a tennis court. And most importantly is that if it rains, you can just head down to the basement parking level, cut through towards the side gate, and that will bring you towards the Sengkang MRT station and Compass One. In terms of unit makes, the four bedroom types, there are only 39 of them. And then the additional eight of them are the penthouses. Five of them belongs to the penthouse category with 2,100 plus square feet. And then three of them belong to the mega penthouse like this one. There is a difference of about 600 odd square feet for the 2,700 plus mega penthouse. You get a huge L-shaped hall, additional roof terrace on level one, dry and wet kitchen, larger living room area right on level two, and larger roof terrace on level two as well. Now let's have a look at some of the renovation in detail. 2,745 square feet. The owner spent close to about hundred odd thousand dollars when they bought this first time from a developer. Before you step into the main door, there is this additional space here for you to construct your shoe cabinetry space. Top hung areas is used to put your umbrellas. Once you enter, marble flooring, digital lock has been done. Now what we like about this layout is that you have this nice L wall right at the corner and this allows you to construct additional storage like this. Got a lot of nice storage space right here. One door concept for your shoes. And so much wall space that is untouched. Nice sitting area. So much space to entertain. Look at this wall that spreads all the way towards the 7.84 meters ceiling height. Now in terms of its renovation theme, the carpentry finishing are pretty timeless in terms of the wood tone. All you need to do is that you just need to change your wall colors, change your wallpapers, change the type of furniture that you want to put into this place and that can almost morph into any style that you want. That includes changing the lights if you want to, all duplex level. This quite evenly spread with 1,300 plus square feet on each level. You even have the option to create another living area upstairs. You can use that as your secondary living area. You want to make this into a multi-generation living. This is fantastic. Very good space for a dining area. Can go up to eight seater. Dry kitchen is fantastic. A good layout comprised of a dry kitchen with dining and living area. So there's a nice triangle that's been formed within the living area. Great for entertainment. You can call this your gourmet kitchen as well. Bottom storage are definitely important because you want to be able to serve your guests. There are also another pantry area right here for your coffee machine, for your, what is this? Philips porridge cooker, steam cooker, all right? And top hung cabinetry as well. Now fridge is uh, right here within the gourmet area. Nice longish shape wet kitchen with two ventilation windows. This is for heavy cooking. Three burner system, nice size sink with your washer come dryer right tucked at this direction. When you buy a penthouse, there are a lot of options for you to decide where you want your laundry space to be. A lot of families put their laundry area right on the roof terrace area. This is the WC in the yard area and home shelter, definitely very useful. That's your storage room. Now, as you notice, the place has been done with nice ceiling lights, cove lighting, drop down lights. We love internal staircase because it's safe for kids. And later, I'm gonna bring you up. This renovation is for you to take over, save a lot of money in your pocket because this is ready for you to move in right on with your family. I love the level 1 layout combination with level 2. Most penthouses, their master is right now level 2. But this gives you an additional option because you have 
a nice size junior master right here that can put in a king bait. It's like two super single. Wardrobe space is fantastic. Even after putting in movable PV cabinetry storage space, you still have a lot of walking space right here. And you have this bonus. My goodness, look at this. Within your master room, you have very nice outdoor area. So on the floor plan, this is now earmarked as the roof terrace space. And the bonus area, and only the largest penthouse get this space. Just imagine if you want to come here and just do a workout, your Pilates or yoga. A little bit of speed boxing. Is this speed boxing for oh, Muay Thai? I I'm not sure. Awning has already been done by our clients. You can put out invisible grills if you want, if you have young kids at home. Just apply with your MCST. Alternatively, convert this into like a sitting area. Treat this like an outdoor working area if you're working from home. Let's have a look at the common room. So the common room is now done as the kids' room. Double bunk bed. Also overlooking towards the north direction. No afternoon sun. So double sliding wardrobe space very well maintained fantastic condition the moment you head into the bedroom these are all done with laminated timber strips and you also get an additional space here coupled together with a db box you get this nice bottom storage for you to put in a lot of things and these are all hidden within the wall line and common bath look at the condition beautifully maintained nice wide spread mirror bottom vanity storage with pull outs standing shower area wall tiles flooring immaculate and most importantly luxury is only six years old in terms of its design it is modern in terms of its upkeep it's fantastic in terms of maintenance fee most of the time penthouses you will be looking at about six to seven hundred dollars in terms of mcst fee but this is only about 433 dollars per month less than 500 dollars for something that is the largest in the luxury so before we head upstairs, we want to look at what are the types of penthouses you can get if you're comparing between getting something that is within the walking distance to MRT stations in the D19 zoning and that is Bangkok MRT followed by Sengkang MRT and Pongo MRT stations. Few projects that you will see will be Esperina residences. You have Jewel at Bangkok, you have the Quartz as well as Sengkang Grand residences. Now, Sengkang Grand is a brand new project that was launched an integrated development. Per square foot is already going at about 1,005 plus all the way to about 1, $1,700 odd dollars per square foot. If you're looking for a four bader, there is already aging towards the range of about 2.2 to 2.3 million dollars. Esperina and some of the other projects right there, it is not easy to find something that is almost a similar like to like comparison, especially if you're looking for a penthouse that is duplex in nature, having two bedrooms on each level. If we move towards the Sengkang MRT belt, the only one with penthouse units will be luxury as well as compass height. Now, compass height was done in the very first era of the Sengkang transformation. Luxury is definitely the newer version. So it all depends on your preference in terms of the age category of the project that you are going for. Now if we move towards Pongo, the three closest projects would be Watertown as well as Park Centrals and Treasure Trove. Some of these projects, they have mega penthouses as well. And we have sold one duplex version at Treasure Trove and that is also inching in the range of about the three odd million to four million dollars range. So this penthouse that we're standing in, the asking price is 2.88 million dollars. Dollars. That is at about 1,049 per square foot. Pricing wise, before we head up, how do we calculate the pricing for a penthouse? For the sake of calculation right here in this home tour, let's just take about 1,250 per square foot as the median transacted range in the luxury. And if we multiply that by the actual size for this penthouse itself, that's going to bring us to about 3.4 million dollars. Look at what is the size of the roof terrace space because technically speaking, outdoor roof terrace space they have close to about 50% odd valuation range when it comes to the calculation method of most valuers in Singapore. If we were to take that into consideration, based on the asking price right now of $2.88 odd million, we think that in terms of its asking price, vis-a-vis -vis the size and the uniqueness of this layout, this definitely is something that your family will be interested in. So, meantime, let's have a look at level 2. So we're heading up to level two. As mentioned, we love internal staircase because that is definitely great for kids. Now this is your second living room that you have within your home. Right now it's being used as a man cove, music drums room. Look down, so this is what you see. Nice blue so far, that looks like a PLB blue color. <laughs> This secondary living room 
can also be converted into your fifth bedroom. It's going to be a very longish shape. You can just close this door, you can tuck in the queen bed, seal up this with a nice glass panel, frosted version, frost up this area as well. And this fifth bedroom is going to enjoy the roof terrace as well. Alternatively, you can create that secondary entrance starting from here put in a nice sliding panel and then your roof terrace is still accessible to the rest of the family I think what's great is that you're working late don't disturb your kids come back from the secondary exit head back straight to your master room to rest this can potentially become a 5 beta penthouse for you to utilize the offer is definitely fantastic this is not something that you always get what I want to show is this space right here that you can head out Very nice jacuzzi right tucked in the corner. That is really pre-built for you. You can place these storage cabinets that are weatherproof. This is a great space for gardening. Secondary exit that we have came in from just now. It's partially sheltered with nice awning. You can go all the way down to about this level. Put in your dining zone here and then your living area right tucked at the space that we came from. This penthouse roof terrace has so much privacy. Technically, nobody can see you. You can do your exercise right here. You can do your yoga right here. My goodness, what's this? This will relieve a little bit of stress. Practice a little bit of Muay Thai. This will be a self-sufficient unit that in future, you want to rent out this space. Your tenant can come in straight from the lift lobby at level 15. You can make this a dual key unit. Create a sliding panel door right here at this stairway entrance. And this is going to be a self-sufficient two bed, two bath with an outdoor jacuzzi. And I think in terms of the ongoing rental rates right now, can likely get you about a $3,800 rental. Definitely in terms of inflation, the rental is going to be even higher in future. And you can use this as a retirement income. Now let's flip over. We're going to look at the bedrooms right here. Master room size is pretty similar to the Junior Masters downstairs. This is currently a king bed. Similarly, TV console area with nice two-door cabinet. The only difference is that the master ensuite on your master room is definitely larger with a his and her sink, WC zoning, standing shower and your long bath. More little details like the ventilation windows on both ends. This is such a dry bathroom and you can just enjoy your time right here. The moment you head out, look at this hexagon house that uh, links all the way to the secondary living room area. Now, the fourth bedroom is now being used as a work from home office area. The original wardrobe is still intact, so you can still put clothes right here. You can continue to use this as a study room. Alternatively, if you really want to tear it down, use it as a proper bedroom. Put in a nice size queen bed right here tucked towards the window zoning, or you can put in a bunk bed version just like what we have seen downstairs. So, common bathroom. Also nice and sweet, very well maintained, wall tiles, flooring, ceiling, no complaints. So for you to go for something that is ready built and you want to own something that has four bedrooms, a duplex, penthouse unit right here within the MRT region, I think luxury definitely will be a key choice for your family to think about. And if you want to have a look at this place, just give a call to our listing manager right here on the links down below. And uh, as always, we are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and now on TikTok as well. Do follow us on Property Member, subscribe with the bell notification button. My name is Mel Blink, hope to see you soon. And as always, happy to show the place. Thank you. And uh, as you head out towards level 15, the <laughs> doorbell. Now, in terms of the renovation theme, the the wood, the wood, the carpentry finishing. No, no. So you get a nice size horse. Ah, okay, that's it. Sorry. Okay, I'll go in. Upstairs. <laughs>